Hello, Stephen Bulger back talking about photographs that are in my office. And next on the tour is Rita Leisner, who took this quite large photograph. It measures about uh, five feet high by six feet wide. And it depicts a tree planter in the middle of their day working in the wilds of upper British Columbia, Canada. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with this activity, uh, tree planters who work with the forest industry who are allowed to clear cut uh, with the agreement that they will reforest. So these young people are given, um, it's piecemeal work. So they get so much money per sapling that they plant. Um, although there are communities of people, they camp together. Uh, during the day, they're working in isolation. Um, something that I've been thinking about a lot through this pandemic, working in isolation. And um, Rita herself was a tree planter. She's now in her mid fifties, but in her twenties, she spent 10 years uh, photograph or planting in season and uh, literally planted half a million trees during that time. Uh, she then started to, uh, she devoted herself to photographing in different conflict zones and um, all the while she had imagined doing a series like this, uh, something that showed the heroicism of these tree planters um, doing this very important work off on their own. And there are other people that have done a series about tree planters. Lorraine Gilbert was the first one that I knew who did a great series of them. Uh, Sarah Ann Johnson also did another series uh, about tree planting oh, about uh, 15 or 20 years ago. And Rita's is very uh, state of the art. Um, one of her earliest occupations was doing lighting in the film industry. So she uh, is working with artificial light. Uh, and she's also using a camera called a phase one that gives tremendous detail. Um, I'll just move in a bit closer so you can see so the quality of the image and remembering like how large this print is, but um, very amazing detail. Like that's in the foreground. Just sort of pan across this sort of swashbuckling looking guy. You know, even those bugs that are off in the sky. And so the way that she's working is, um, she, as I said, she's using electronic flash. Um, this is someone that's got this rather elaborate um, tattoo that's on their back. There's another person working. But that notion of stoop labor is something that is very seldom seen. And the way that Rita is able to do it is that she can anticipate where this person might go next because of her own experience. So as this person is working forward, Rita is working backwards. And so is her assistant that has, uh, you know, battery packs, uh, strobe equipment, including a softbox. And they're able to make these photographs without that person having to interrupt their day. Um, more recently that she started to take photographs of the place itself, doing these nighttime portraits of different parts of the forest. And for this part of the series, and it's been a five year series, it's also a film as well as a book. Um, the book is being done by Dowie Lewis. Uh, it's expected to come out in the fall of 2020. And um, for these pictures called The Enchanted Forest, She's working with two uh, assistants using lots of different flashes, uh, camping in the, the wilds of upper BC, finding good locations to take these pictures, and then setting up the flashes and doing a long exposure. Like it, it could be like a minute to two minutes. And um, all the while popping the flashes, they're running around with um, like searchlights trying to fill in some of the shadow areas and constantly waiting um, and working to make a picture uh, that gives you a sense of this place. 
Um, this particular photograph, we did a solo booth of her work at Art Toronto. And um, my wife, Catherine Lash, who spent a couple of years tree planting, uh, was quite taken by this uh, photograph and purchased one for herself. And it very proudly hangs in our home that we look at every day.